Okay, I'm gonna keep this review just short and simple, mainly because not a lot happened in this episode. Well, a lot did happen, but honestly, it feels to me, um, I went back to reading the manga since Taizai just gets delayed for like every two weeks or something. And honestly, um, I don't know why they delay it. I don't know why the subs come out so late. Um, honestly, just there's just a really big mix up with Nanatsu no Taizai. It just makes you want the series to end. It just makes you want the it, you want the series to end. Um, faster. I think they have like 24 episodes that they're going at right now, which is sort of a shame because Taizai had so much great potential and for them to just keep rushing this series. Like A1 Pictures, I have no idea what they have in mind, but A1 Pictures, I mean, why can't you just do the same thing that you did with um, Sword Art Online 2 and just keep just a steady pacing? I mean, I don't know if it's budget cuts or anything, but um, I'm sort of heavily disappointed that they're really rushing a bunch of stuff. I mean, um, in the second opening, they already had Galther was introduced, and um, he's not supposed to be introduced until like later. And then they're showing too much of Hendrickson because honestly, when I read the manga, they didn't um, they weren't supposed to show Hendrix Hendrickson that much. And if I recall, um, I don't think Helbron was supposed to have the um, the sword in the first place. Oh yeah, and by the way, what happened in this episode? Basically, um, I'm done with the ranting. But what happened was. Um, Eliotis had finally unleashed his demon power and he was fighting off Gulia and Jericho and he's basically going on a complete rampage just using all of his demon powers just going and getting everybody around and then he starts to fight with Helbrom and Helbrom is just playing with him saying that he's testing him and Helbrom has like a sort of play aside to this like he, like he knows that Meliodas is stronger than him but he still likes to play acting like he's the tough person so he may have won this battle mentally since Meliodas really didn't um, he just went berserk, and um, they're just fighting around and stuff, and he t he's able to take away Meliodas' sword. And actually, if for all you anime-only watchers, that's not a um, sword. It's actually one of the keys to revive the demon clan, because that's what they were trying to fight in the um, Holy War in the first place. And now... Um, he has the holy. Now he has Meliodas' sword, so it's they're in really big trouble. Um, Veronica's dead. Rest in peace, Veronica. Um, they're gonna try and get um Hendrickson's gonna try and get more um holy knights together, new generation holy knights. Um, because you see Gil Thunder and that other guy. Um, they're just getting people together. Um, and if you guys watch the end at the ending, um, ending's good too. Um, you can see Gil Thunder going to Princess Margaret, trying to ask for power or something. Since he's asking, like, let me consume your hatred or something. And, um, honestly, it's just about to get into a really big war. Um, the Bizel arc has ended. It ended off with that note. Everybody's safe. Um, um, Meliodas get, got, came out of that Goddess Ember. And, honestly, it's, it seems to me that if you guys look at the end of the episode, it seems to me that Meliodas, um, he doesn't really need that sword anymore or the key anymore. Mainly because, um, as you can see, he took a stick. He took a stick like a twig from a branch, and he slashed it, and then he completely split a um, like a big mountain open. So it shows you that Meliodas has probably been able to control his demon powers um, for a long time, and it just goes to show that he's increasing in power and probably developing as a character too. And he's he's not he's now has a serious face. He now is serious, and he has now put a vow to um, end this holy war and just defeat the holy knights. So I really like how this is going. I'm sort of disappointed that they've really rushed the series. Um, if you guys, if you're manga only, um, manga readers, know what I'm talking about. You guys can relate with me. And um, yeah, tell me in the comments how do you guys think Taizai is rushing so far? And um, tell me in the comments what did you guys think of this episode? And that's it for me today. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys want more anime reviews and gaming, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Be sure to drop a like. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. And until we meet again, see ya.